Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is December 19th, uh, 2021. And yesterday uh, started in the morning with a, with a nice snowfall. Then temperatures kind of got up into the upper 30s and it all turned to rain. And then of course last night it fell back down into the 20s. It's currently uh, 27 degrees out. And as you can see, this is all, this is ice. So what happens is, you know, if you look around, some of the neighbors' driveways have ice on them, um, but the insulation really hurts me here because it, it prevents any ground heat from coming up and melting this off. So, you know, really it, uh, it causes the ice buildup to get even worse. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm gonna fire up the system here to melt this off be gone in a couple of hours and uh, just thought I'd uh, show you guys here I'll probably do a quick startup I did take a picture of the uh, gas meter like I always do so uh, let's run down in the basement and uh, fire it up okay guys down here in the mechanical room note the time uh, 923 almost 924 let's kick on the snow melt Okay, pump is on. You'll start to hear the pecs click. And that's just the expansion and contraction of the pecs itself moving and rubbing it up against each other here. It, it only happens because the temperature is, uh, is dropping so quickly. Um, so, yeah, we, we're showing 75, 74, 73. 72. Once that hits 65, any second now, 65, kicks on the primary loop pump, heaters fire, the Belimo valve slowly starts to open up. So this is total BTU usage for both units. So right now each unit was pulling about 50,000. You get 99 total. And the reason it's actually dropping, I've mentioned this in other videos, is because it's just circulating the primary loop right now. This valve is still opening so that ice cold glycol has not had a chance to fully get pumped back through the heat exchanger yet. Now you'll start to see it climb because that valve is almost completely open yep now it's open and now you can see the BTUs really start to take off we're down to 39 38 coming back 229,000 BTUs about 80 degrees going out to the slabs and this is even showing less this is showing maybe 30 36 so something uh, I did between the last video I don't know a week two weeks ago um, I installed these little gauges and they're they're just sensors that strap onto the pipe and they actually show the, the temperature so I still have to insulate these I actually left the insulation off so that I could show you guys how I do it um, I use aluminum tape and the tape kind of just helps reflect the uh, the heat or you know absorb the heat then I cover it with pipe insulation and I actually zip tie that that sensor down too so what this is showing right here is domestic in and radiant out is at the top okay so my domestic in coming in from the heaters right now, this is showing 135.3. And what it's putting out to the slabs, to those the zones is 77.1. And then down here you can see coming in from the slab is 37.7 degrees on the glycol side. And going out on the domestic back to the heaters, this is showing 75. 
and up here we're showing 76. So, you know, just, just neat to do some math and some calculations and figure out exactly how much heat is being transferred across that flat plate. Um, I like to do the geeky stuff and do the math and figure things out and just, you know, see how efficiently things are working. But um, with 77 degrees coming back, these things are definitely fully condensing. Um, that's, that's some cooler water coming back into these units, so we're good. Pressure's still good on the secondary system. We're right at 14 PSI, which was right where I left it when I filled it uh, last December. And those videos are coming, for those of you that have been following along. Um, all those, I've been slowly starting to upload all of my old installation videos, so they're, they're coming, keep watching. And uh, yeah, I won't bore you. I mean, I've done several videos like this where I keep showing you and, you know, reading off everything. I'm not going to keep uh, keep doing that. I mean, you guys get it. Uh, it starts off at about 80 out, works its way up to 100 over time, starts low. Um, you know, I think it was down to 35. We're already up to 40 coming back. So it over the next hour, hour and a half, it will slowly build itself up and bring that that slab up to temperature and i'm gonna guess uh within three hours or so um the thing is pretty much wet and as long as we don't get any rain or snow today which i don't believe we're supposed to by early afternoon the thing will be dry so yeah i'll bring you back i'm gonna take this gopro out set it up for a time lapse um everybody seems to enjoy the time lapse videos so uh, i'll go set that up and uh yeah just thought i'd do a quick start up another one and um thanks for watching if you have any questions hit me up down below if you if you guys want to see anything in particular here i'd be glad to make a video and show you and uh yeah i appreciate you supporting my channel as i as i grow it here um so thanks thanks for watching